Hello everyone, and welcome to a brief overview of the Metaverse Studio. Metaverse is the number one creation tool for creating augmented reality and interactive content without using any code, and it's completely free to use. To get started, create an account by clicking on Get Started on our landing page. From there, enter your email address, a username, and a password. Then specify what you're using Metaverse for. When you filled in all this information, click on Create Account. This will take you to the Metaverse Studio. Initially, you'll get a message that will link to some tutorials. Feel free to close out of it. Your first page is My Experiences, and you can see all of the experiences that you've created. Since you created a new account, it probably says No Experiences Found. At the top, you can find our blog, multiple YouTube tutorials for Metaverse features, some account information, and then you can create a new experience at the top right. On the left-hand side, you can access all of your created experiences, your bookmarked experiences, and all of your created walls and poles. You can also discover curated experiences from the 165,000 experiences created so far. Let's go ahead and create a new experience. We'll click on Create Experience at the top right, and then we're taken to a page called the Storyboard page. Starting from the top left of the Storyboard page, you'll see the Metaverse logo. Clicking on this will bring you back to the Experience Preview page. From here, you can name your experience, and then moving on to the right, we have an Undo button, a button that lets you zoom out, and a button that lets you zoom in. On the right hand side of this top bar we have a button that we have a button that says test which will generate a unique QR code for you to test out your experience in the Metaverse mobile app. You also have the option to share the experience but first you'll need to publish your experience. Let's go ahead and start building our very first experience. You'll notice that the first thing that appears is this card, and this is what we call a character scene. It's made up of three pieces, a place to choose your character, a place to add some dialogue, and a place to add buttons. So let's go ahead and do that. Select our character. We can choose from thousands of characters available in the Metaverse Studio. We have 3D characters from Google Poly, a few animated 3D characters, and thousands of GIFs to choose from Jiffy Cat. Let's keep it simple and just use this smiling face with hearts. At the top, let's add some dialogue by clicking in the dialogue box and saying something. Hello world. At the bottom, let's add a button. You'll notice that depending on what you click on in the Metaverse Studio, things will change in the right hand menu. So if we click on an empty space in the scene, and if we click on the button, the right-hand menu will change. This is true for all of the scenes and blocks in the Metaverse Studio. Let's add some button text by clicking on the button and typing Next. Now it's time to add a new scene to the storyboard. You can add new scenes and blocks by clicking on Add New at the top right of your storyboard. Metaverse experiences are made up of two main parts. We have our scenes, which are the visual elements of an experience. This is what the user will see on their screen. And then we have blocks. And blocks are the logic elements of our experience. We have about 70 blocks to choose from that all perform different background functions in our experience. Let's go ahead and add another character scene to our experience. Now you'll notice that we have some red bubbles next to our experience and next to the button. What these bubbles mean is that these two scenes are not linked together. We'll need to link them together by using transition controls in the right hand menu. We'll click on the button and then we'll use the transition controls. You can select transition to scene, block, end the experience or suspend the experience. We're going to transition to scene. 
Then you can use this drop down menu to see all of the available scenes in your storyboard, but an easier way to link scenes up is by clicking on the pointer and then clicking on the scene you'd like to transition to. Let's go ahead and change the character. We'll click on the character area and then click on the pencil icon. Maybe for this one, we'll use this cat. Now let's add some dialogue. We just made our first experience. Let's add a button, and in this button we'll say End Experience. Our transition for this button will be to end the experience. Once your experience is all set up and you're ready to make the changes live, click on Publish at the top right. When you publish your experience, you need to make sure that you have an experience name and give your experience a short description. You can also edit your discovery options and your cloning options. Discovery options will allow you to place your experience as part of a group or make it unlisted so that only people with a link or QR code can find the experience. You can also disable cloning for your experience if you don't want people to make copies and remix your experience. Once you're ready with all these settings, click on Publish. After clicking on Publish, you'll be taken to the Share page. This is where you'll find a unique QR code for you to scan in the Metaverse mobile app. By scanning this code, you're instantly taken to the experience and ready to open it up and play it. You also have a share link, which you can share via social media, email, really anywhere online. And then a studio link so that you can share the build with others for them to clone and remix. Thank you for joining me in a brief overview of the Metaverse Studio. I hope you learned a lot. I recommend you check out the other tutorials to learn about specific features that Metaverse has to offer. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.